everyone, and this is a video game spotlight of the game Plague Incorporated Evolved. Um, I actually had the game on my iPod, and I actually got this from the Pirate Bay. <laughs> um, so what this is, is like, it's like a real scenario of you starting out with a disease, and you can click as many countries as you want. I recommend doing Sedan, because Sedan and Plague is not really a good country. But if you do like a country like the United States, Canada, or Brazil, or any rich nation, it'll be hard for your virus to evolve and spread. So I recommend somewhere in the Middle East, like Saudi Arabia, or the Middle East, or Iran, places like that. So I want to do something different, and I actually want to do Saudi Arabia. So let's do that. Our virus has spawned. I named it Buckets. And uh, this is a fungus. So, funguses take a longer time to evolve. They're fast evolving, but they're hard, they're very fast, to, very, I think it's they're re easy to spread or hard to, sp they're hard to spread, but they evolve really quickly. So, in the game, you have your transmission, transmissions, symptoms, and abilities. I recommend doing focus on transmissions and abilities and then work on symptoms. I usually beat the game on bacteria with trans, uh, transmissions. I first had a couple countries infected in, the, in like 10 or 100 days or so. Oh yes, it evolves quickly. See, this is a real scenario. So we, I just had some other countries got infected now. It's starting to it's, it's starting to happen. Um, so I recommend doing air and water and and transmission because those will start to, will spread your virus more quickly through the the ships and airplanes. Birds are the same deal with uh, air with airplanes. They just spread at quick quicker rates. Um, what, we're in, it's starting in New Zealand. So there's a, there's still plenty of healthy countries in the world. Um, let's check. We and actually the game will teach you how to play. I'm on, I'm only doing want to do this just for fun, my my own personal enjoyment, because the game can be really ambitious and brutal if you not get you don't do it right. Um, so let's go transmission. Go abilities again. Now, frost res cold resistance. This will help you when you're spraying it on like Russia or Ukraine, uh, countries such as that. Oh wow. Now this is where you go to symptoms and you start doing it's like a motherfucker. <laughs> because if New Zealand if if New Zealand New Zealand starts to use it mess and then that on the, when you it's just infected then that's bad. So I'm gonna do nausea and probably the anemia. Also if you bu actually buy the game you actually get scenarios. So buckets in, is is now infecting thousands. The more symptoms you put into your virus, the more del deadly it is. Like it goes, lethal goes up, and infectivity goes up by abilities, and lethal uh, lethality or le how lethal the virus is by ability, transmission, and, and symptoms. It all adds up. It's really complicated. Um, I first played this on, I think, Newgrounds or Addicting Games. Probably Addicting Games. It w I can't remember. It started out as a 
web browser game and then it moved itself up towards video game industry because it got so popular or the people start, just got the company got a lot of money a lot from it from ads and I might actually buy the game when I have the money just as I have the money when I have the money to, bu to do, buy Left 4 Dead 2 so let's continue doing this uh, and What I like about this game is how the the experience you get as a virus is like how can I destroy the world in some way? Should I do it with symptoms or first what, work with my uh, how lethal my virus is gonna be? Hold on. <laughs> 